Prado, Italian pronunciation, PRA2, listen, is a city and commune in Tuscany, Italy, the capital of the province of Prado. The city is at the foot of Monte Ritea, elevation 768 meters, 2520 feet, the last peak in the Calvana chain. The lowest elevation in the commune is 32 meters, 105 feet, near the Cascine di Tavola, and the highest is the peak of Monte Cantagrio at 818 meters, 2684 feet. The Basenzio, a tributary of the Arno, flows through it. With more than 193,000 inhabitants, Prato is Tuscany's second largest city and the third largest in central Italy, after Rome and Florence. Historically, Prato's economy has been based on the textile industry. The renowned Dettini archives are a significant collection of late medieval documents concerning economic and trade history, produced between 1363 and 1410. The famous cantucci, a type of biscotti, was invented here during the Middle Ages and they are still produced by local old bakers. History Ancient times Archaeological findings have proved that Prado's surrounding hills were inhabited since Paleolithic times. The plain was later colonized by the Etruscans. In 1998 remains of a previously unknown city from that civilization were discovered in the neighborhood of Gonfienti near Campi Vicenzio. It was of medium size and it was already a center for the wool and textile industry. According to some scholars, it could be the mythical Camars. The Etruscan city was inhabited until the 5th century BC, when, for undisclosed reasons, it decayed. Control of the area later shifted to the Romans, who had their Via Cassia pass through here, but did not build any settlement. Middle Ages In the early Middle Ages, the Byzantine and Lombard dominations prevailed in the region. The history of Prato itself begins from the 10th century, when two distinct villages, Borgo al Cornio and Castrum Prati, Prato's castle, are known. In the following century the two settlements were united under the lords of the castle, the Alberti family, who received the imperial title of Counts of Prato. In the same period the plain was dried and a hydraulic system regulating and exploiting the waters of the Vicenzio River was created to feed the Gualtieri pre-industrial textile machines. After a siege in 1107 by the troops of Matilda of Canosa, the Alberti retreated to their family fortresses in the Vicenzio Valley. Prato could therefore develop as a free commune. Within two centuries it reached 15,000 inhabitants, spurred in by the flourishing textile industry and by the presence of the Holy Belt relic. Two new lines of walls had to be built in the mid-12th century, and in the early 14th century. In 1326, in order to counter the expansionism of the Republic of Florence, Prado submitted voluntarily under the seigniory of Robert of Anjou, King of Naples. However, on 23 February 1351 Joanna I of Naples sold the city to the Republic of Florence in exchange for 17,500 golden florins. Prado's history therefore followed that of Florence in the following centuries. Modern age in 1512, during the War of the Holy League, the city was sacked by Spanish troops assembled by Pope Julius II and the King of Aragon, Ferdinand II, to recover the nearby city of Florence for the Medici family. The severity of the sack of Prato led to the surrender of the Florentine Republic, and to the restoration of the Medici rule. Historians debate the actual number of people killed during the sack, but contemporary chroniclers asserted between 2,000 and 6,000 people were slaughtered in the streets. In 1653 Prado obtained the status of city and became seat of a Catholic diocese. The city was embellished in particular during the 18th century. After the unification of Italy in the 19th century, Prado became a primary industrial center, especially in the textile sector. Italian historian Emanuele Repetti described it as the Italian Manchester and its population grew up to 50,000 in 1901 and to 180,000 in 2001. The town experienced significant internal immigration. Previously part of the province of Florence, in 1992 Prado became the capital of the eponymous province. Main sites 
Prado is home to many museums and other cultural monuments, including the Filippo Lippi frescoes in the Cathedral of Santo Stefano, recently restored. The cathedral has an external pulpit by Donatello and Michelozzo, built and still used for the display of the cathedral. S. Famous relic of the Virgin Mary, the Girdle of Thomas, Sacra Sintola, a cord belt, which had a great reputation in the late Middle Ages and is often shown in Florentine art. Also of interest is the Teatro Metastasio, the city's main venue for operas and other theatrical productions, which was built in 1829 30. Palazzi and castles in the historical center Palazzo Pretorio. The palace was begun in the 13th century in red bricks, late Gothic style additions were in white stone. The external staircase and clock were added in the 16th century and later. Palazzo Dettini, built from 1383 for the merchant Francesco Dettini. It was decorated by Florentine artists like Agnolo Gatti and Niccolo Guarini. In 1409 it housed Pope Alexander V and Louis of Anjou. Palazzo degli Alberti, 13th century, housing a museum with works by Filippo Lippi, Madonna del Seppo, Giovanni Bellini, crucifix with Jew cemetery, and Caravaggio, the crowning with thorns. Castello dell'Imperatore, located in the city center, this is the northernmost castle built by Frederick II of Hohenstaufen in Italy. Main churches in the historical center. Prado Cathedral, one of the most ancient churches in the city, already in existence in the 10th century. It was built in several successive stages in the Romanesque style. The church contains a number of notable works of art, in particular fine sculpture. Santa Maria della Carceri, commissioned by Lorenzo de Medici to Giuliano da Sangallo in 1484. It is on a Greek cross plan, inspired by Brunelleschi. S. Pozzi Chapel. Works lasted for some 20 years. The interior is run by a bichromatic Maiolica frieze by Luca della Rabbia, also author of four tondos depicting the four evangelists in the cupola. The external facade is unfinished, only the western part being completed in the 19th century according to Sangallo's design. San. Agostino, built from 1440 over an existing edifice from 1271. It has a simple facade with a rose window and a bell tower with pyramidal top. The interior is on the basilica plan, with a nave and two aisles divided by brickwork columns having waterleaf capitals c. 1410. The apse chapels date to the late 14th century. The interior is home to canvases by Giovanni Battista Naldini, Lorenzo Lippi, L. Empoli, Giovanni Bazzelli and others, as well as 14th-century frescoes. The cloister dates to the 16th century. San Domenico. The interior altars house a crucifix of the 14th century and an Annunciation by Matteo Rosselli 1578-1650. The cloister of the adjacent convent was built in 1478-80. An adjacent museum has works of wall frescoes. San Francesco. It houses a funerary monument of Geminano Ingirami, died 1460, and the frescoes by Niccolo Guarini in the wonderful Cappella Migliorati. San Fabiano, already existing in 1082. It houses precious traces of a pavement mosaic dating from the 9th-11th centuries. Also notable is the 15th-century bell tower. Minor Basilica of Santi Vicenzo e Caterina de' Ricci, adjacent to the late Baroque Monastery of San Vicenzo. The church was decorated for the canonization of the Saint Catherine of Ricci, who is associated with the monastery and is buried in the church. Main Museums Palazzo Pretorio. It was the old city hall located town center, standing in front of the current Palazzo Comunale. It now accommodates the Civic Museum of Prado, which was reopened on September 2013. Prado Cathedral Museum. It was founded in 1967 in a few rooms of the bishop's residence and in 1976 grew to include items from both the Cathedral of St. Stephen and the diocesan territory. 
Centro per l'arte contemporanea Luigi Pecci, devoted to the contemporary arts of the last three decades. The complex composes the Museum of Contemporary Art, the Center of Information and Documentation, including the Visual Arts, and an Education Department. Prado Textile Museum. The museum and library is an anchor point on the European route of industrial heritage. Galleria di Palazzo degli Alberti, home to the art gallery of the local bank, former Casa di Risparmio di Prado. Works of the collection include The Crowning with Thorns, by Caravaggio, c. 1604. Museo della Deportazione dedicated to the history of fascism's occurrence and rise to power in Italy. Music collections Government Sport Rugby Club I Cavallari Prado AC Prado Education Higher education institutions include Il Polo Universitario Città di Prado a branch of the Università degli Studi di Firenze, and the Monash University Center which is located in the Palazzo Vi. The University of New Haven opened a satellite campus in Prado in 2012. Notable citizens Climate Prado has a humid subtropical climate which has sunny hot summers and cool damp winters. July is the driest month of the year. Transportation Prado Porta al Seraglio Railway Station It is situated in the historical center of the town and connects to Florence in about 25 minutes with the Via Reggio Florence Railway. Prado Central Railway Station It was opened in 1862, is the biggest station in Prado. It forms part of both the Bologna-Florence Railway and the Via Reggio-Florence Railway. Dialect The dialect from Prado is very similar to that of Florence, but it has its own peculiarities. The pronunciation of the city name in the dialect was traditionally P-R-A-O, but now P-R-A-Ho, or P-R-A-Theta-O, are more common. Chinese Immigration the city of Prado has the second largest Chinese immigrant population in Italy, after Milan with Italy's largest Chinatown. Legal Chinese residents in Prado on 31 December 2008 were 9,927. Local authorities estimate the number of Chinese citizens living in Prado to be around 45,000, illegal immigrants included. Most overseas Chinese come from the city of Wenzhou in the province of Zhejiang, some of them having moved from Chinatown in Paris. The first Chinese people came to Prado in the early 1990s. The majority of Chinese work in 3,500 workshops in the garment industry and ready to wear. Chinatown, known as Santo Beijing, is located in the west part of the city, spreading to Porta Pistes in the historical center. The local Chamber of Commerce registered over 3,100 Chinese businesses by September 2008. Most of them are located in an industrial park named Macrolato di Yolo. Raids on factories employing illegal immigrants in 2010 highlighted problems with the growth of an apparel industry in Prado based on cheap, and sometimes illegal, labor. In spite of all these blames, the local unemployment rate was around 7% in 2013, which was significantly lower than the national average 11%, even after 4,000 enterprises which employed 20,000 people were closed in the past two decades. The president of the Industrial Association of Prado, Andrea Cavici, pointed out that the local economic performance was much better than the rest of Italy due to those Chinese textile business. As of 2009, the Italian and Chinese populations did not socially mix. As of that year, there were 30,000 legal Chinese immigrants, and authorities believed there was a similar number of illegal Chinese immigrants. International relations Prado is twinned with. See also Prado Cathedral Museum Prado Cathedral 
Filipino Lippi Palazzo Pretorio, Prado Cantucci References Bibliography See also, Bibliography of the History of Prado External links Culture in Prado Exhibition da Donatello a Lippi. Oficina Pratis at Museo Civico di Palazzo Pretorio in Prado, September 2013 to January 2014 Information about Prado, Free Time Guide on Prado, in Italian Complete image galleries of the town, the medieval historic center, churches and the Chinese quarter, in Italian Chinese remake the Made in Italy fashion label A City Transformed, slideshow by the New York Times Prado on Encyclopedia Britannica